Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of simultaneous equation or system of equation, we'll be solving here one Canadian math Olympiad problem based on system of equations. So let's get started. Equations are x plus y z equal to 2. I will consider this is my equation number 1. y plus x z equal to 2. I will write 2. z plus y x equal to 2. I will call 3. Now from this system or set of equation, I am going to do 1 minus 2. Okay. So if I will do 1 minus 2, see what will happen. x minus y plus y z minus x z equal to 2 minus 2. I will write x minus y take z common y minus x equal to 0. Let me take x minus y common out. So x minus y what will be left in the bracket 1 minus z equal to 0. So that means from this equation we will conclude two strong points. One is 1 minus z equal to 0. That means z equal to 1. And second equation will be 0. Then I will get x equal to y. So what I am going to do here, I will solve both the conditions one by one. Let me consider, let me call this is my condition 1 and this is my condition 2. So let's find out. So I will write z equal to 1. Let's put z equal to 1 in this system of equation. So equation 1 will become x plus y equal to 2. Equation 2 will be y plus x equal to 2. Same so I am not writing. Equation 3 will be what I will write 1. So it will be y x equal to 2 minus 1. So x y equal to 1. Okay. Now see two equations two unknown. I have to find out the value of x y. So what I am going to use algebraic identity x minus y whole square can be written as x plus y whole square minus 4 x y. You can find out other ways also see y equal to 1 over x substitute in equation 1 and then make quadratic and you can solve. I am using algebraic identity. Let me put the value of x plus y. So it will be 2 square minus 4 times 1 which will give us 4 minus 4. So x minus y whole square is equal to 0. Conclusion is x must be equal to y. See what is happening. The second case x equal to y. We are getting result as from the first case z equal to 1. Let me solve equation 3. I am going to substitute in equation 3 here this value. So that x y will be equal to 1. Let me write here x y equation 3 x y equal to 1. Put y equal to x. So x square is equal to 1. From here we can conclude x is equal to plus minus 1. Okay. Now if x is plus 1, so I will write here again x is plus 1, x is minus 1. x is suppose I am writing first minus 1 and here we will consider x is equal to plus 1. Let me put and check which value will satisfy x is equal to minus 1. Okay. In equation 1, x plus y equal to 2, it will not satisfy x plus y equal to 2. If I will put minus 1 minus 1, so it value won't be equal to plus 2. So this solution will be rejected. So what is accepted x equal to 1? Let us check x plus y equal to 2. So 1 plus 1 equal to 2. That means it is satisfying and 1 times 1 equal to 1 which is also satisfying. So x is equal to 1. And see x is equal to y. So if x is equal to 1 then y will be also 1. And under z equal to 1 we are solving. So z is also equal to 1. So one set we have got from this 
which is 1 comma 1 comma 1. This is our x, y, z. Okay. Now I am going to consider case 2. From there we will get one more solution. So this is our case 2. x equal to y. Let me write this equation. And we will use the same equation. Substitution. Let me write. Second case, x equal to y. Okay, let's put x equal to y there. So, equation will reform. See, let me write here. Okay, so now our, this is equation 1, 2, 3. 1 will be x plus xz equal to 2. Second equation x plus x same equation it is coming out likewise the first case third would be i will write z plus x square equal to 2 so ultimately we are having two equations now i have to solve this so what i am going to do here i will substitute z is equal to from third equation i am considering 2 minus x square and i am going to put this value in second one second equation so equation was x plus second equation was equal to 2 now let me put z equal to 2 minus x square so i will write x 2 minus x square equal to 2 open this bracket 2x minus x q equal to 2 take all the terms to right hand side so x cube x plus 2 x 3 x minus 3 x plus 2 equal to 0. As I can see x equal to 1 is a straight away solution. If I will put x equal to 1 to so 1 minus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 0. That means x minus 1 is one solution one root. x minus 1 will be one factor sorry. x minus 1 will be one factor. So let me use synthetic division method so x is equal to 1 is one solution the coefficient of x cube 1 x square is not there so 0 x is there minus 3 constant is 2 retain first coefficient as it is so i will write 1 1 into 1 1 1 1 into 1 1 negative 2 1 into negative 2 negative 2 0 factorization now becomes x minus 1 times x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Alright. Now if I will solve x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So I will be getting factorization as x minus 1 x minus 1 x plus 2 equal to 0. You can use quadratic formula and you will get 1 and minus 2 as a solution. So we can write in the factors form x minus 1 times x plus 2. So now it is straight away clear x will be equal to 1 or negative 2. So only we have to check this set of equation x plus xz equal to 2 for which value it is satisfying. Okay. So we will find out that set. Okay. Okay. Let me write that equation first. Equation 1 was x plus xz equal to 2 and equation 3rd was z plus x square or let me write directly z is equal to 2 minus x square and we were solving for case 2 x equal to y. Okay, we, up to this point we have calculated the x values it was x is equal to 1 and minus 2. So let us put the value of x is equal to 1 here. If I will put x equal to 1 then z will be equal to 2 minus x square 2 minus 1 square so 1. x is equal to y already there. So that means z is equal to 1 x equal to 1 y equal to 1 because x and y both are equal z equal to 1. Again, it is repetitive. Same result which we have calculated in case 1. Now, let us find out for x is equal to minus 2. 
ओके लेट्स पुट हेयर जेड विल बी इक्वल टू टू माइनस माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर सो इट विल बिकम टू माइनस फोर नेगेटिव टू सो दैट मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू वाई इज इक्वल टू नेगेटिव टू बिकॉज एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई एंड जेड वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड नेगेटिव टू सो सेकेंड सेट इज नेगेटिव टू कॉमा नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव टू ओके नाउ वॉट इज लेफ्ट वेरीफाई सो लेट्स वेरीफाई सो अवर सोल्यूशन इज एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉमा जेड इक्वल टू वन सेट वी कैलकुलेटेड वन 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 एंड सेकेंड सेट वी कैलकुलेटेड नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव टू लेट्स वेरीफाई फॉर वन 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 x y z equal to one one one, not belongs to. It is equal to. Okay, let's put the value. So I am putting in this system of equation. So equation one, x plus y z. So one plus one into one equal to two. Correct. One plus one into one equal to two. Correct. This is equation two. Equation three. One plus one into one is equal to two, which is also correct. So it is verified. One 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 is the true triplet. Now second case, second solution set. We will consider negative two, negative two, negative two. Let me put negative two plus. This is what I am writing. Equation one. X plus y z. So x is negative two plus y is negative two. Times negative two, is it two? So yes, four minus two or minus two plus four, so two. Correct. Second equation negative two, same thing you will get again. That will be equal to two, and third would be negative two plus negative two times negative two, so you will get two again. So equations are satisfying. Verification done. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video